In this video, let's talk about the difference between the verbs take and bring, two of the most common verbs in the English language. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Today, you're going to learn the difference between the verbs take and bring. Now, of course, both of these are verbs, so you need to think about verb conjugation, and they're used to talk about movement movement of both people or things. So let's look at two example sentences. I could say, bring your passport with you. Or I could say, take your passport with you. Now, what's the difference between these two sentences? The thing you need to remember is that bring is used to talk about movement towards and take is used to talk about movement away. Now, how do you know if it's movement towards or movement away? It simply depends on your reference point. So in this case, if I said bring your passport with you, I didn't complete the sentence, but it could be bring your passport with you to the airport. So you can think about where your passport is going. It's going towards the airport. Our only reference point for location is the airport. Now, I could say take your passport with you when you leave the house. So in this case, our reference point is the house and the passport is going away from the house. Take your passport with you when you leave the house. But remember in my original examples, I didn't include either reference point. And it's common that we don't because it's obvious based on context. So if I'm standing in the house and I say to you, take your passport with you as you're leaving, it's obvious that it means when you leave the house, right? Or if we're thinking about going to the airport, and I say, bring your passport with you, the location is obvious. So a lot of times it's just there based on context and it's not explicitly stated. Now, in many cases, take and bring can be used interchangeably without a difference in meaning or without a miscommunication. So let's imagine that this is a report and I'm talking to a colleague. If I said, take the report with you or bring the report with you, it doesn't really matter because ultimately the report is moving and that's the only thing that matters. But let's think of another example where there is a specific time you need to use one or the other. Let's imagine that you're in a restaurant and you don't have a menu, okay? So you call the server and you say, excuse me, can you bring me a menu? Can you bring me a menu? That's the only available choice because of course the menu is moving towards you. Can you bring me a menu? So the server brings you a menu, you order your meal. Now, 20 minutes later, you're finished, the server comes to your table, she looks at your dishes that are now empty, and she says, can I take those? And in this case, take is the only available choice because the dishes are going to move away from the table. So just remember that there are times when only one option is available and it simply depends on the direction of the movement. 
If it's towards, we use bring. And if it's away, we use take. So that's all you need to know to feel confident using the verbs bring and take. So now it's your turn to practice. Leave two examples in the comments below. Remember, these are verbs, so you need to conjugate them with your subject and your verb tense. And one example using take and one example using bring, leave them in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now, before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, jforestenglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying! All right, now you know the difference between take and bring. Make sure you leave your examples in the comments below. You have to practice these to feel confident using them. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.